Hey guys, it's me, Jack 24 here today. You're probably wondering, Minnie, why are you making another lightsaber video? Doesn't your audience hate you for that? The answer is yes and yes. And, well, the reason why I'm making this is because of two things. One, I'm just taking a short break from doing, from doing my college work since I've been doing it for quite a while quite a while and to be honest I need a bit of a break and plus I need to make a bit of a long video so I thought I'd make a short video just explaining a few updates that I've done to help upgrade this design since it's been a while since my last uh, video on a lightsaber but I'll just say the least this is one that I kind of actually actually fixed fixed the issue with with uh what do you call it call it uh the kind of the screw here where i managed to get into a good position gold in the blade plug so that stays all nice and good another thing is i finally managed with the use of some sanding to get this to be all all flat and even and flush on this which is good also, I had to sand down a bit of this here, so that way it would fit within the, if this can focus on it. No. No, not there. So that way it can fit, so that way it can fit within the circle rim. Also, another thing that it's able to do now, because it's all flush, is that is that I can confidently hang this up by the D-ring without worrying that the screw might come loose. Do that. Another thing that I did to improve this was actually by getting a, a by getting a, uh, what's it called? A swath furnace um, ESP card, which, well, ESP clamp card, which is that great thing. However, the only thing that I'm currently working on now is, well, personally, I'm updating the fonts on the saver, so that way it will be able to, to work and not have any sequel trilogy sound fonts, which I hate. So it works out perfectly for me. For me. Anyways, just wanted to make a quick video for y'all because I honestly just needed a bit of a break from doing... A lot of college work. Work.